Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very exciting day here at the Infinite Actuary. I'm Lee Gibson, the director for our preliminary exam courses and our SRM and MAS1 exam instructor. And I'm here with our CEO, James Washer, who's also our exam FM instructor, as well as our FAM, um, FAML instructor and our ALTAM instructor as well, to talk to you about what we're doing here at the Infinite Actuary to help out future actuaries starting today. Yeah. James, tell us a little bit about that. I'm really excited. Uh, I can sum it up very quickly. We are, from here forward, giving away our P and FM courses completely free. No catches, no only for one month, no just the problem system. 100%, no restrictions, our courses 100% free. So that's going to bring up a lot of questions in people's minds, I'm sure, James. Let me just ask a few of those questions now and see if we can get a little get a get ahead of a few of those questions that we know will come in. First of all, the course is really 100% free and there are no limitations at all. Free. Don't need a credit card to sign up. Nothing. You're just just free. You do need to sign up for an account for good reason. I can show you here in a second. But once you've signed up, you get to use the course as everyone who's paid for it in the past has. So this exam P probability course page I'm looking at from the Infant Actuaries website, all this stuff is available. 50 plus video lessons, 850 plus practice problems. Actually, they're gonna be more than that here pretty soon. Four sample exams with video solutions, detailed formula sheets, like all of that stuff is still gonna be available in this course, even though it's now completely free. Everything, including, including the ability to ask questions and have our instructors answer those questions, instructors and staff. Here's a big one I'm sure people are gonna to wanna to know. You're going to give these courses away to the community, you said. Does that mean you're not going to maintain the course any longer or update it when there are syllabus changes? We plan to continue to update these courses just like we were charging for them. We have no plans to change how we update these courses or keep them. Obviously, anytime a syllabus change is made, we'll adjust these courses for the current syllabus and we'll continue to make improvements. We're going to continue to treat these just like we would all of our other courses. We just decided, you know what, 20 years of selling these two introductory courses, it's time to give back to the community as a thank you, help inspire more people to be actuaries, kind of break down that limiting wall that a lot of people have, getting a good study source at a good price. What better price is free? But yeah, no, we're going we're gonna to keep maintaining these and hopefully even continue to make them better over the next 20 years. So what about how the courses are actually accessed by students? Is the free version going to be mobile friendly or accessible across devices? Absolutely. So one of the great things about our learning platform is it works across, obviously, your web browser on your computer, but it works on all iOS devices, Android devices. Those are native applications that you can download. So they work really well and they look exactly the same. I'll, let me just give you a quick, very quick demo of our learning platform. And the reason I'll show you the reason why you actually need to log in because our platform is going to keep track of your progress, tell you exactly what you need to do. As a matter of fact, we open here, the very first tab is today because that's where most of our students live. And so I'm on the FM course here. Let's say I'm going to study for FM. I jump right into here. I click get started. I select my exam date. So let's say that I'm studying on October 6th. I select which days of the week I plan to study. So let's just say I'm studying Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I can say which days I'm going to not study. So I can come in here like so maybe I'm going to be out of town the week of September 8th. So I can uncheck these. Maybe as they closer to the exam, I want to study more on the weekends. Whatever you do, you can adjust this and you can adjust it later. So it's very flexible is what I'm trying to say. So like here, I can say I want to learn more or review more. Let's just make this like an even split. 19 learn days, 18 review days. Click done. And this is the beauty of our system. It builds a schedule for you. As you get ahead or behind on your schedule, the system will adjust to that. So if I complete all of this stuff and then I work ahead, then I'll have less things to do in the future. If I don't complete everything that I need to do, then I'll have more that I need to do in the future. And I can come into any of these days. So for instance, tomorrow is currently not a planned study day, but maybe I get off from work and I want to study anyways. I can just convert that to a study day. And now it's going to move things around and, and make each study day what I need. And I get to do it all from here. So I just click here and I, my lesson pops up right here. As we, after we learn the material, again, I'm just in today and it's telling me which problems I need to work. As I get closer to the exam, you'll see these purple dots. These are sample exams that I need to take. 
Of course, these sample exams are included. The flashcards are included. Everything is included. Discuss is included. If I come down here, I can ask a question from the instructors. I can view other people's questions in the past as well. It's, it's all included. I can take notes on things and I'll see all of my notes here. I, I, I've said this too many times, but it's all included. It's the same course that we've always been selling for the last 20 years and we're going to make it better over the next 20 years. And so in particular, it's not going to like just stack more and more things up every day until I'm so discouraged that I want to cry and quit. Exactly. That's exactly, the thing exactly. we're, that we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Let's get a little bit more into the whys on this. You know, I know some people are probably done watching this video. They don't care why we're doing it. They're just happy that this is something that they can access now for free. But let's let's talk about it for just a minute. Why are we making this product free? Both of these products, P and FM. Well, I hope they're still around because it's not just to give back. That's one of the reasons and I'll talk about that more in a second. But over the years, we found more and more students that don't use us at the very beginning. When they come to us for later exams, they've developed bad habits. Uh, I don't want to mention any competitors or anything, but some people um, kind of game the first couple of exams where they take a bunch of practice exams over and over until they reach a certain level that they feel like they can pass the exam. And while that does work, we think it sets up really bad study habits for later exams. I want to interrupt. I just made a comment that says you can take a bunch of sample exams and it's uh, an effective way to prepare for the exam. While it is effective for many students, it's definitely not the most efficient way to prepare for the exam. Think of sample exams as containing easy, medium, and hard problems on a large distribution of problems. And if you just work, say, 15 to 20 sample exams, then you'll be working easy problems on material that you're already good at over and over again, wasting your time or you'll be working hard problems on material that you're not really comfortable with yet. Therefore, it's kind of above your ability level and you're not really improving in that way. So our guided practice solves exactly that issue. It's always looking at how good you are on each topic and trying to serve you at your current difficulty level. So I, I didn't want to let this video continue with you thinking the idea that it's the best way to take a bunch of sample exams. No, the best way would be to learn the material, use guided practice, and then use sample exams to practice your exam taking strategy. And so our hope with giving away PNFM for free is when people are studying from their first exam, they'll use our system, which is built around starting by learning the material, which you 100% need to do on later exams, especially once you get to fellowship exams, where there's very little calculation on the exams to begin with at all. Um, and so you just, you get a much better foundation for how you need to study for actuarial exams versus just taking a bunch of, working a bunch of problems over and over and over again until you're able to pass the exam. So we're hoping that this will improve our customers that join us later, now they'll join us earlier and get that methodology of how you should prepare for actual exams right from the beginning. Uh, so th that's one of the primary reasons. And then the other reason is we've just been doing this for a long time and we feel like um, the limiting factor, we, we've never wanted to break off our stuff into pieces beforehand. Like for instance, the problem system, I didn't want someone to study that way. That's why we never sold our problem system separately. We did finally figure out, hey, we can give away our problem system for free, but we only did that through university courses. So we knew that someone was there teaching the, the students the material well, and they just needed to practice problems. We were okay with that, giving it away for free, because we knew that students were learning the right way to do it. Then we just said, you know what? Why don't we just give away the whole thing for free? And then it's a way to give back. And we're also seeing a great increase in the number of international students and they, they might not have as much disposable income to get started in studying for actuarial exams. So it's just kind of a win-win all the way around. We get to teach students how to prepare for exams properly. And we kind of get to feel good about giving back to the community giving back to poor college students. I mean, I know we were both poor college students at one point in time and would have greatly appreciated getting something like this for free. It just feels good to get back after 20 years and what better way to do it than with PNFM. Yeah, this is my 13th year here at the Infant Actuary now. And, and I, I know that the company goes back well before that, but I, I know that we this is something we've kind of been talking about for a really long time and hoping that we could eventually get to this place where 
this is something that we could unveil and do. Uh, just a couple of final questions. Like, is you know, you've mentioned this already maybe a little bit before, but let me just check again. This is just for like six months, right? We're we're not actually going to do this forever. Uh, our force, our plan is to do this forever. I can't envision any reason why we won't continue to do this forever. But yeah, if you sign up now, you will for sure, we will not pull your access ever. We're not going to like let someone sign up and then a month later say, oh, we changed their mind and you can't, uh, you can't continue on. 100% guarantee if you sign up when it's free, you will have access to your PNFM course forever. Um, and our, our current plan is to definitely continue this forever. Just, you know, for, like I said, for the next 20 years, I hope 20 years from now, people are still signing up for the Infinite Actuaries PNFM course for free. That is fantastic. Well, I think this is a really great day for the actuarial community and especially for students that are entering into this process of trying to pass actuarial exams. And we are the premier actuarial education company in the sense that we have almost all of the exams covered, starting from exams P and FM, all the way through your fellowship exams on the SOA side and on the CAS side. So Start with us with PNFM for free, and you can continue to use that same platform all the way through the rest of your prelim exams if you want to, and all the way through the rest of your fellowship exams after that. So hopefully this will be something that will have a big impact on our actuarial community and will help lots more students to be able to pass the exam. Yep. Thanks for watching. All right. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate your coming out and watching to the end of this video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.